All right, welcome back to the Nurburn channel. I have a treat for you today. So um, I have, as you can see, most of the generations of the CW Air and most of the iterations. The only one that I lack is the mini version, which I am kind of tempted by because it's small size. But this right here is the very first generation of Plus that went out. And I was on one of the testing committees for this, one of the first, I think, 100 people to get one of these. And as you can see, it's quite faded. And then this right here is the latest and greatest, the super fast one, which has a faster processor, well not faster processor, faster memory, essentially, and faster read and write speeds. And it also has 256 gigabytes of actual built-in memory versus the 32 of the original. And what I want to do is take a close look at these as far as the hardware goes. We're going to open them up and see what's inside because ZWO is now making their own PCBs or what is it, silica? The anodizing, you can see there's a significant difference in the anodizing between the two of these. And I haven't left this guy out in the sun that much but he's really faded fast. And I have another one that I bought shortly thereafter, uh, really just a couple months later and it hasn't faded at all and it's seen about the same amount of time outside. So what I'm really curious about is the anodizing. Let's take a close look under about 95X. So it has a really thin coat on this one. Let's see this guy. So I'm not seeing any difference in the thickness of the anodizing. It's probably just the dyes that are different and the dyes that are used in anodizing can go a long ways to the longevity of them, especially when they're exposed to the outdoors. I haven't noticed any of the more recent ZWO equipment like fading really fast, kind of like the older ones do. And th this right here is an ASI Pro, for example, which has spent a little bit less time out in the sun, but as you can see, it's also fading. Now it's time to open these guys up and see what's inside. Because I opened up the original, of course, and I'm going to open it up again just so that I can get like a real side-by-side -side comparison here. I know some people think that looking at the insides of computers is like an abomination, like, I don't know, looking at pornography or something like that. But I, I find the insides of computers to be something very cool and interesting to see. I think I need to take out the memory card. Yes, I do. So there's an original. And we'll bring the camera over here so that you can actually like see these up close. You know, I think I am the only channel, the only channel that's ever opened one of these things up and shown everybody what the insides look like. I did this once before about two years ago. So, right away, I'm seeing some differences. Yep, these are very different machines on the inside. All the ports and everything are in the same place. But as you can see, thermally, it's attached via silica to the actual ASI air. And there's even a small raised spot right here. Whereas on the original, it's pretty much all plain. So here, I'm gonna bring the camera over here so you can kind of look at this up close and we'll, we'll actually take a more in-depth di dive into this. We'll flip these over too. All right, so you can see a little bit closer. Here is that little tab that I was telling you. It's just a little raised spot that comes into contact with what I'm guessing is a processor right here. It says ASA Air Plus version 3.3 .3, right on it. This guy, doesn't really say anything. As you can see, it doesn't have anything there. Other than that, they look pretty much the same. The anodizing is so much redder, even on the insides. Let's take this guy apart next. Now, if I remember right, and I'm pretty sure I do, so, most of the airs have been Pi's. This right here, this is a Pi 3. Uh, the ASI Air Pro had a Pi 4 in it, which had, of course, the USB 3.0. This guy had a Pi, but it wasn't like a complete Pi like you would buy. 
And I'll show you here in a second when we actually get this off. You can see this right here is the actual Pi board that has all the processor on it. The rest of this is all ZWO proprietary. So I'm just gonna lay that there like so. Let me move that up there. Now let's open the new guy. And as I expected, of course there's still the connection via the Wi-Fi. And I'm gonna lay it here like so. Same thing with this guy. You notice the cord for the Wi-Fi is shorter uh, versus the original. But there, you can see that there's an obvious difference. The processor and silica and everything is actually built right into the entire board. Whereas over here you have a separate Pi board mounted on top that's then connected to their main board. Now, what this kind of tells me, this is actually exciting, okay? And I'll tell you why this is of interest and why you should want to know this, is that ZWO now has the resources to manufacture their own boards from scratch. And there was every aspect of this board is ZWO manufactured to their exact specifications. In all the previous generations of, Z of ASI Airs, they've been kind of hodgepodge pieces of hardware put together because, you know, CW wasn't as big a company. But this is great because with custom hardware like this, this opens up more, uh, more avenues, if you will, to, you know, customizing these things and making them more optimum for astrophotography. Now, I am really curious about what's underneath this. There we go. Now, this is interesting. It's a rock chip, which is not the same thing as what's on the Pi. So yeah, they've got their own processor. This right here, I'm guessing, is the processor. Um, yeah, they're, they're making their own silica, which is great. Okay, this is awesome. And something else that I want to point out, the soldering joints for the USBs are a little bit heavier duty than the original, which is good because these things do get yanked on sometimes. Now the ethernet port is still plastic snaps, which hardly anybody uses the ethernet on these things. Although I hear that's one of the best ways to get connectivity because with all ZWO hardware, getting Wi-Fi connected is always a challenge and it doesn't really have anything to do with the hardware. It's, it's their software, their drivers, however, they do it. I think that ZWO should really revisit that area and just kind of rewrite those from scratch. So there you go. I'm going to start putting these back together and you can kind of, and this is, yeah, exactly kind of the new hardware from ZWO. There's something different. This here has been laser cut away. So one of the reasons why I make a big deal about the fact that ZWO is manufacturing their own uh, PCBs or logic boards, whatever you want to call these things, is that this, this means that the, the likelihood that we might be able to see ZWO have the resources to actually request and design a specific image sensor for astrophotography, which would be great because virtually all image sensors that are used and even dedicated astrophotography cameras are just copies of stuff that other hardware companies have requested. And that's because, you know, in astrophotography, they haven't had the resources or the quantities, I should say, to request something and design something custom. But those days are coming because astrophotography is the one part of photography that is growing. All other parts of photography are shrinking. Master photography is the only one that's growing, which is a good thing. I do use these, and the reason I use these is because they're just easier to load on the computer. Uh, downloading my images through Wi-Fi is just too slow. But one other little thing that I noticed, so this guy, the processor 
is heat sinked right to the actual casing itself. This guy, there's no direct connection between the body exterior and that Raspberry Pi 4 miniature board that's inside of there. So I'm guessing that the new version, as long as it's producing the same amount of heat, this guy should be able to withstand higher temperatures. So those of you <coughs> who are in warmer climates will be able to appreciate and, and we'll, we'll be able to get more imaging time. There will be, you won't have any nights where, ah, my Pi is overheating, I can't use it. That won't happen to you. <coughs> Sorry, so let's summarize here kind of what we've seen from the new generation versus the older generation. So first off, the anodizing is definitely a lot redder. I think that it will be more uh, resistant to fading than the older anodizing. And then, uh, but what else is there? So obviously, they are using their own silica, their own PCB boards, custom made to them, which I think is great news because that means that ZW has resources and they might be able to make some custom sensors in the future, we shall see. And then the heat dissipation properties of the newer one are probably going to be better. I'll test that soon and I'll have a more full review of this thing. But yeah, those are the kind of the insides of these guys, what they look like. I'm the only channel that does this. <laughs> Nobody else I've seen out there is willing to take theirs apart and look at the insides of them Even though these things are fairly rudimentary and simple uh, an engineer like myself doesn't have any uh, No fear or qualms of getting these things out Oh, and there's one other thing I've just noticed so on the new one We have the words Ethernet and laser engraved here, but there's also a raised portion on the USB 2.0 whereas the USB 2.0 on the older one was flush so that's something else that's externally different. Uh, and then on the bottom, there is a much smaller license QR code. And then of course we have all of the specifications like what type of ASI Air you have written down here below. So pretty cool. I'm looking forward to using this guy. So if you're wondering, okay, why would you want the latest generation? Maybe why would you want to upgrade? Probably for planetary or like, uh, image stacking with very high frame rates and I'm kind of getting into a lot of solar astrophotography which is very 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 narrow band and that kind of stuff is kind of one of the reasons why I picked this guy up is because it will be applicable in those, those kinds of scenarios.